I want to just take a few moments to paint a picture of what's happening back in my local school district to try to make this budget a little more real. Dearborn Public Schools, third largest school district in the state of Michigan, roughly 21,000 students, the majority of which are at risk. A school district where 100% of students receive free or reduced lunch. One of the largest employers in the city of Dearborn. Dearborn Public Schools is, is expecting the following. 2% increase in labor costs, totaling 1.2 million. 2% increase due to health care costs rising, $540,000. 2% increase due to retirement costs rising, $1.1 million. Not taking into account any upgrades that are needed for our facilities, the total year-to-year -year change in operating costs is expected to be nearly $3 million. This budget doesn't provide Dearborn what it needs to even cover those expenses. So what does that mean? That means educators maintaining subpar wages. That means teachers are expected to do more with less. That means facilities that keep on deteriorating. That means less resources are left over to be allocated to educate our students who are already struggling. Furthering the inequity that already exists and is baked into the system. And just this week, at our school board meeting, our superintendent announced that this budget, the specific house proposal, would result in 60 to 70 jobs on the chopping block. Dearborn deserves better. Michigan deserves better. Heck, our families across the state really deserve better. If this budget passes, when you drive down the streets in your neighborhood and you see the orange cones of construction, and you see that big cement truck that rotates, grinding up the materials it needs to pave our roads, know that in that cement truck are our jobs. In that cement truck are children's textbooks. It's opportunity for our students. It's a dignified wage. And that's what's being molded and used to patch some potholes. You know, when the residents complained about how we build our roads, I never imagined you deliver a fix that further devastated our communities to deliver a fake promise. So I certainly hope we go back to the drawing boards and do better because we all deserve better and our families back home deserve better. Thank you.